Hey guys, Jessica here. Don't mind me. I like still haven't done my hair or makeup for the day. Um, so I'm going to do a review or a kind of feedback or a reaction to Pretty Little Liars Season 4, Episode 2, Turn of the Shoe. So, if I'm looking down, I took a little bit of notes. There was so much going on in this episode, but I also feel like we didn't get much, um, which gets very frustrating when you watch this. Um, and an aside, um, I just put it away. I got season three, Pretty Little Liars, brand new. Um, I had forgot that it had come out, I believe, like the third or the fourth of June. And then I saw it at Walmart, and they wanted $40. I'm like, yeah, right. Went right on eBay, bid, and I got it for fourteen fifty, brand new, just like you would get it at Walmart. So, don't ever forget about eBay, guys. I tell you this all the time. So, I got that. I'm gonna rewatch that, and maybe I'll get some other clues in between the new season. Um, so, first of all, we, you know, they, the lair's gone. We know that Toby took it um, to A, and um, he wants to know what happened with his mother. Well, later on in the episode, it comes to find out that. He's told that, you know, she kills herself, apparently, but he has her medical record of her last therapy session, and he says, it doesn't sound like somebody that would kill herself, meaning that she might have been murdered, it was set up as a suicide. Um, you see the girls are rushing out of, gosh, why can't I remember now? And the girls are all together at the beginning of the episode, and Mona gets choked by A. You see the mask, the burn side of the mask, and then they're almost run over. A, Aria, Emily, and Mona, and um, Emily kind of jumps in front, really hurts her shoulder, which, as a swimmer, is really bad, and that kind of contributes to the parts of the episode. Um, and they're almost run over. You know, the whole episode, Toby's being really secretive. That is until he tells Spencer what's really going on. Hannah's mom is back and acting very weird um just very strange which isn't like her um she has some shoes that she's trying to get rid of hannah finds them before confronts her you know she, hannah's mom says you know i didn't kill wilden if that's what you're asking me um then we deal with spencer's college she's a legacy at university of pennsylvania she receives a rejection letter she talks to ezra about it he's it was kind of a creepy situation, maybe because we just know that he likes younger girls, but he was like, oh, I'll help you if you want to email me, you want to call me, and I'm just like, please tell me he's not going to try to be with Spencer. And then we have Paige. Paige is so weird. I don't know. She had this creepy or, like, weird blank stare on her face when Emily said, oh, you know, she fell or she slept wrong on her shoulder and she had this weird stare like maybe it was just she was suspicious but I still have a feeling that Paige is involved with all of this somehow um then we have Mrs. De Laurentiis um there's a flashback about Allison just bugging like she bugs out if she doesn't get her way it was this psychological like really creepy moment where she's bugging out like making a scene but still within herself if what i mean by within herself is she's bugging and she's looking at her mom like i'm gonna, I'm gonna bug her i'm gonna i'm gonna kill you kind of look but it's like the rest of the world couldn't tell because the rest of her body isn't reacting so we started to see some sort of psychological problem with Allie there which i don't think we've really seen i mean we witnessed her saying things that don't seem like somebody that's of their mind but that was a moment then we have the karate teacher jake Oh my god. First of all, he is so cute. Second of all, I can't believe she already kissed him. Like, you skank. Like, I'm just... I was so bothered by that whole thing. I th didn't think it was going to happen like that. Um, then we have that bird that sound like Allison that Mrs. De Laurentiis has. And it's just creepy. Um, and then how they think that it's like doing a number and then it gets kidnapped and who took it. The bird creeped me out entirely. Um... There's so many th other things, like the Shauna, you know, the Emily drowns, well, she takes pills, but you know what's funny about Pretty Little Liars? You get used to thinking the worst, because when Emily went into her locker to take those pills, and then Shauna appeared, I was like, no, she, you know, she could have easily changed those pills, like, she just told you she wants the last spot on the scholarship, and Emily's already got in trouble, 
you know, she was drugged before, and she had a positive test, drug test, and um, that was in a previous season. So now, I mean, if she gets another positive test, she's screwed. Like, she's never getting an inter, you know, a college scholarship for any sport. Um, so, you know, it's one of those moments when you are, like, a PLL lover, and you're watching, and you're like, no, don't take him, no. Then she goes back and takes more, and I, my friend was over that doesn't really watch it, I looked at her, I'm like, she's gonna drown. What happens? I missed that scene. I need to rewatch this episode because I missed some because she was here. But um, I, d I saw that she was on the bottom of the pool and they pulled her out and she had a cut on her head. So I didn't see that whole part. So, you know, sorry if I'm not completely comprehensive on this. Um, we didn't really get much. Um, we really didn't. Uh, yeah, okay. Toby's mom's really probably killed. Okay. I kind of considered, you know, probably thought about that. Um, then Hannah's mom, I'm not sure how to feel about Paige, I'm not sure how to feel about where's Lucas, where's Caleb um, the bird the bird, if they didn't have the bird in this episode I would be like, this is stupid the bird made it so creepy like, beyond creepy oh, and I remember why the girls the girls went to find the lair, and that's when they found that the lair was gone, and that's when they rushed to the car and that's when A choked Mona in her car, and almost ran them over okay, now I remember, it came together um so, next week, the trailer seems like they're going to give us something. They're going to give us a little something more. I hope so, because they gave us nothing. <laughs> it's the second episode. I'm kind of disappointed in Marlene. Like, Ms. King. Like, if you don't, Marlene King is a head writer. Um, I can't believe you did that to us. Like, you, they gave us so much in the first episode, and we're spoiled because we never got that. I don't think we've ever gotten that much information in a whole season that they gave us in one episode. So I should have expected the second one was just going to be creating more questions. Because if you know anything about this series is that there's so many on so many questions. Like I just said, where's Caleb? Where's Lucas? Was Hannah's mom really in New York? Did she come back? Why was her name Kisses in his phone? Um... Did Toby kill his mom? Who killed his mom? What about Jenna? Are Jenna and Sh you know, Shauna really working together? Where was she this episode? Um, I mean, th why is Miss De Laurentiis still... Why does she still have Allison's things? Why is she so creepy? Why does she look at the windows, look at people? Um, you know, why is Ezra being so nice to Spencer, you know, in a creepy level? What is the bird trying to tell us? Um... Oh my gosh, there's like so many things. There's just so many things. And also, where's Melissa? She wasn't in this episode, and it made me sketch. It made me feel like she is the masked woman. Um, first, I thought she was the one in the black lace, but I'm starting to think that's Jenna. And Oh, it can't be Jenna, because Jenna was at the funeral. Maybe, I don't know who it would be then. Um, maybe it was Shauna in the black lace because we asked her where she was and she was like, oh, I was in swim practice when uh, Hannah approached her. So, who's the woman, who's A? Who's really on the A team? Is Paige? What's Shauna's role? Where's Melissa? Who's the lady in the black veil? We can go on and on and on and on and on. So, while well, we may have got some answers last episode, you could see there's three dozen others. So that's the joy of Pretty Little Liars. We torture ourselves. So guys, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this recap and just my ramblings. If you love Pretty Little Liars, I love watching these videos. I don't care if they're confusing and rambling and ranting and everything else. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.